learn to relax. Your body is precious, as it houses your mind and spirit. Inner peace begins with a relaxed body. In our era, I think it's becoming extremely difficult for us to relax because we feel as though society is expecting us to be productive all the time, and I'm sure a lot of us have experienced feeling negative or bad for having unproductive days. There are many videos and articles talking about how to be productive, and also there's a lot of content that teach people how to feel motivated when not feeling productive. Correct me if I'm wrong, but especially on the internet, we seem to really dislike the idea of having unproductive days. World famous CEOs, celebrities, influencers on social media constantly remind us that hard work is always the key to success in life. What success means in this context is heavily associated with being wealthy, which a lot of us are questioning. How can we get rich, and what can I learn from those people who have become wealthy in their lives? In society, the majority of us believe that the people who work the hardest and the most productive are the most successful, and hence they are rewarded financially. Because of this strong belief, if you felt unproductive, that would make you feel terrible, and we are in the state of mind in which we are able to only feel good or valuable as human beings when we are productive and working hard. But where does the belief of labeling that unproductivity is something negative or terrible come from? Well, this is due to capitalism, where the capitalist has power and controls the means of producing goods and services that workers under them produce. And the profit goes back to the capitalist. A lot of workers' jobs, like office jobs, as an example, can be easily replaced by anyone else. But we don't have any other choice due to the fact that we must simply pay bills to survive. So, depending on where you stand in the capitalist society, working hard could mean something completely different. Because for workers like myself, we mainly fear the possibility of being laid off, and we think that we must always work hard and sacrifice our time and energy to the fullest for our jobs, just to prove to others that we are valuable employees. I'm glad that I now have an understanding that working hard is not the only aspect for someone to become wealthy financially, because many variables, such as which family you're born into, what kind of environment, which country you grew up in, what kind of people you met in life, timing, luck, etc., contribute to someone's wealth. However, I used to believe that working hard was the only thing that mattered when it came to creating a successful life. And because of this belief, I used to beat myself up when it came to feeling unproductive. I put too much pressure on myself to live up to the unrealistic image of myself being productive 24/7 like a manufacturing robot, and it put me into a dark place where I would feel like I wasn't good enough and feel bad about relaxing. So my life was quite suffocating at some point. But fortunately, I was helped by supportive people who told me otherwise, and I read a lot of books that gave me new perspectives to look at my life differently and positively. Also, I came across minimalism at such good timing, and the key teaching was less is more, which taught me to slow down, listen to my mind, and embrace the feeling of being unproductive because imperfection is what makes me who I am. If that makes sense. So in this video, I would like to share some of my perspectives on how I allowed myself to feel okay not to be productive all the time. Make your mind your best friend. What ultimately makes us feel bad about being unproductive? I believe it's our minds that decide to make us feel the way we do, and it seems that a lot of people don't have a good relationship with their own minds. Of course, external things such as your family, friends, or people you meet in life might give you a lecture on what you can do or can't do with your life. But it's ultimately you who make a final decision about how you live your life. So the first step to enjoying being unproductive is to simply spend some time with your mind and see how you can be best friends with your mind.
I used to have this mindset which was if I achieve X then I'll be happy. So I worked hard and sometimes worked too much and I ended up feeling burnt out. This is because my mind decided that I could only be happy when I achieved goals in life and every time I achieved my goal it was as if I thought that I reached the top of a mountain only to realize that I was still at the bottom and I always pushed myself to keep climbing until one day I would become happy which eventually led me to experience burnout. Because I believed that if I kept achieving my objectives, I would eventually become happy and when it never happened as I expected, I was so disappointed. While well, I could say that I had the what the fuck moment in which everything that I believed turned to be untrue and collapsed in front of me. But in a way, it was good that it happened because I had to let go of that belief to try something new and for me, it was minimalism which the key teaching was less is more. It felt that once I started letting go, I could free myself from my own expectations in ego which caused me so much stress and anxiety in the first place. Because of this practice, I could have a good relationship with my mind that encourages me to grow as a human being at my own pace and rest whenever it's necessary, which gave me an opportunity to think about how I want to contribute to society and the people around me as long as I'm alive on this earth. Now, the biggest goal that I have at the moment is to convey the importance of being yourself in this world. And I don't know how I'm going to achieve this goal that seems enormous, but this is what I want to do from the bottom of my heart and I'll enjoy learning and coming up with as many ways as possible to keep walking towards this goal. Sometimes I know I'll have to sit in the middle of the road called life to rest and eat some rice balls, but now I see that resting is a part of the process to achieve this dream. And the view that I look at whenever I take a moment to rest is going to be a reminder to appreciate how far I've come in life. Challenge yourself by making things that you always take for granted hard to do. All of us understand the feeling of wanting more, achieving more, doing more in our fast-paced world. The thought of trying to improve things that we already have in life has led humans in their lives to quickly evolve and in comparison to the old era, there's no doubt that things are becoming more convenient than before. Although there's nothing wrong to have the thought of wanting more or improving something that we already have, I believe it can be dangerous if you associate what you achieve with your happiness and fulfillment. It's because we are so good at creating more goals to achieve and once we achieve something, we create another one and it keeps going like this and never stops. We end up always feeling like we can work more and do more with the time we have because we believe we are not enough and this is the reason why we feel terrible for being unproductive. This is what I got trapped in, which was the goal-oriented life where I focused solely on creating goals to achieve consistently and though I improved a lot by this cycle, somehow I couldn't feel happy or fulfilled. Then I started practicing minimalism and focusing on my day-to-day -day living. I noticed that happiness and fulfillment come from what I do on a daily basis. They come when I start appreciating what I have rather than focusing on my future goals. Some people ask me how I can feel appreciative for things that I already have in life. They were thinking that it is hard to appreciate something that we usually take for granted, which is true. As for me, this attitude comes from challenging yourself by making things that you think you always take for granted hard to do, then you start appreciating what you already have or can do in life. Just to give you an example based on my life experience, I was born and raised in Japan and I decided to study abroad in New Zealand at the age of 15 because I loved learning English. But when I started living there, my English wasn't good enough to communicate with people in New Zealand so that it felt like I lost the ability to be able to talk to people, which I would always take for granted when I was in Japan. But because I couldn't communicate with people properly for months, I was able to understand how amazing it is to be able to connect with people through a language and the beauty of having supportive people like family and friends that you can open up your feelings to. 
being able to communicate with people is perceived as normal for a lot of people. But for me, it's something special that I'll never be able to take for granted because I know how much suffering it is not to be able to express yourself through a language. Because this is the way to find happiness and fulfillment in small things in life. I believe talking to people and expressing yourself can be easily taken for granted because most of us have the ability to communicate with others in a language naturally. But I was fortunate enough to have this natural ability taken away from me so that I was able to realize how precious it is to be able to talk to others, which I always took for granted when I was in Japan. This attitude gives me the opportunity to look at my life as I'm just so lucky to be alive because of the fact that I can communicate with others. By challenging yourself by making ordinary things hard to do, you become aware of how precious it is just to be able to live. Then you can apply the same attitude towards other things that might be considered small by many people such as having a supportive family and friends, basic human needs such as clean water, a place to live, and regular meals to eat every day, etc. The three points that I've talked about in this video helped me feel okay to be unproductive. This is because by trying to connect with my inner self and learning to appreciate what I already have in life, I could discover the importance of living in the present and learn to accept my weaknesses and flaws as an individual, which made me realize that I'm only a human that cannot be productive even if I want to or be pressured by society. For me, life is like a marathon that I can't see an end. The end might happen tomorrow or in a month, a year, 10 or 60 years from now. Who knows, but I understand that I have this one opportunity to get to live my life. So I might as well seek ways to enjoy everything that my life brings me. And resting is a part of life and it's natural to feel unproductive or unmotivated as being a human. I'm so grateful that at this moment, I'm able to choose to listen to my mind and body and rest when it's necessary because it means that I'm able to live the way I would like for myself. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. That's the end of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up because when you hit the like button, the YouTube algorithm helps my channel grow and reach people who are interested in the topics that I discuss on my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing and I will keep striving to create videos that are worth your time. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later. Bye!